Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part 4 of the leg rig tutorial that I'm making. So if you haven't seen part 1, 2, or 3, go ahead and check those out. So in the last part, we um, applied, we named all of the bones, and we applied the bone heat for this one. And let me explain bone heat a little bit more. That basically means wherever the, the bones are, and it's red, that's what's going to affect it and the scale is from red to blue and there's also another way how you can do this you select this and you have a bunch of vertex groups here and they're named after the bones here so let's say let's go into edit mode right and um, you want we want these vert uh, vertices to be our torso just select torso assign I'm not going to wait paint sorry not to go away paint is perfectly there. So let's go ahead and try that out a little bit. So let's go ahead and um yeah but you know it, it's I like it better. I like weight paint, painting just a, just a little bit better. So let's go ahead and select this hip right here. Just right click it. Oops. Make sure that your uh armatures are in um pose mode first. Alright, so go into weight paint. Let's go ahead and select this here. And as you can see, Blender autom automatically already tried to assign them, assign some vertex groups. So let's go ahead and make that red by just turning these r red right here. Okay. And remember to go over here, the object tab, and turn on wires so we can see where the vertices are. Okay. Now, one thing that's so so great about what we did earlier, which was we named all of the vertices L and R is that if we look over here oh I'm kinda of stupid sorry you have to press X mirror on sorry hopefully that so yeah so let's just do that again sorry about that so let's just go ahead and assign these but now make sure you have X mirror on I'm so sorry about that and whatever you do on one side with the L and R with the L and R names here will be applied on the other side very neat tool so now let's go ahead and select this here just right click it and let's just assign all these vertices down here simple enough right make sure you get all of them and make sure that two, um, two of the armatures aren't sharing the same vertices or else uh, it won't work properly okay let's select this one Actually, let me show you. Check it out. See, it was automatically painted over. Very simple. Well, if you're really interested in rigging and really want to get into rigging, I I highly highly suggest getting uh, Basam Kodali's um, Man Candy F Man Candy FAQ over at the Blender eShop. It's such a great DVD if you're in the Blender. Uh, in rigging and it helped me so much and it uh, it clarifies a lot of things yeah so that's about how it should look for this one you know, it's simple enough you know it's not it's like it's rocket science or nothing you know all you need is a good sense of direction now when you have one bone selected make sure oops sorry Make sure there's nothing on the other one. Like on this one, as you can see, this bone is over on the opposite side. We don't want that, so click subtract and just draw over that. And what I'm doing, this is definitely not, this isn't exactly how you're supposed to do it. There is no exact way. Everyone has their own way. But, you know, you can uh, take other people's methods and turn them into your own, you know, whatever helps you work. No. All I'm doing is weight painting uh, the areas you have to. Just make sure that um, two bones don't share the same vertexes in that vertex group, uh, vertices in that vertex group. I don't know why I keep saying ver uh, vertices. So now let's just go ahead and check them. Here's one. Fine, fine, perfect. Seem, everything seems pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and try these out. Go into object mode, select them, 
I'm gonna check it out. Okay. Uh, there we go. See, as you can see, as we move this, the one from the opposite um, foot moves. Really simple. Just go ahead and turn the subtract mark on right here and turn that away. Let's try it again. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Ah. So now, an easy way to fix things. Um, let me just bring this up. See how that doesn't follow? E this easy way to do that, just turn that, turn add on. Just go ahead and paint that as it is, and I'll snap up. Now you can rotate these here. All you gotta do is right click them and rotate, but my computer seems to act up. Oh so, yeah. Go ahead and as you can see it's a little green over here okay perfect so yeah so if you want to clear the rotation just press alt R or alt G to clear the location and let's just keep testing them out rotate them ah this one moves so just subtract that okay alt R whoops let's try this this seems to be really good Okay, so now that we fixed all of these, these ones will automatically be perfect because we fixed the other side and the x-axis mirror is turned on. Just making sure that certain vertices don't share the same, I mean certain bones don't share the same vertices. Okay. So, uh, let's go into object mode. With these. So now that we have all this done, yeah, and that's pretty much the basics of this. And um, I think we got enough done for this part. So the next part, I will sh explain uh, IK constraints. And what I might do is, in, you know, how in certain rigs, at the top of the mesh, you see a slider, and it's FK to IK. And when you, and what. FK and IK means forward kinematics and inverse, uh, I'm sorry, not kinematics, forward uh, kinematics and inverse kinematics is that forward kinematics like this, let me show you right here, like when you move it, it's dependent on its own, it doesn't move anything else but itself, like um, if it doesn't have any children, it only moves itself. As you can see, it moves its child, but the parent doesn't move. Inverse schematics can have a certain target, like a an IK goal, and it moves all of that in the goal, and it really simplifies animation. I'll explain it more once we get to that part. But yeah, so this is pretty good. Let's go ahead. Don't forget to save. Control S. Okay, so that's it. So thanks. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to watch the next part. And if you haven't seen part one, two, or three, go ahead and watch them. So thanks for watching.